the person who burglarized my car. Louisiana Criminal Code Section 62. Simple burglary. Simple burglary is the unauthorized entering of any dwelling, vehicle, watercraft, or other structure, movable or immovable, with the specific intent to commit a felony or any theft therein. Whoever commits the crime of simple burglary shall be fined not more than $2,000, imprisoned with or without hard labor for not more than 12 years, or both. So let's see. Unauthorized entry? Check. My car having windows, as opposed to being made of one solid chunk of titanium, does not constitute my permission to break one of them when I am out of town, reach in, unlock the door, and enter. Of any dwelling, vehicle, or watercraft? Check. Last I checked, Hondas are considered vehicles. With specific intent to commit a felony or any theft therein? Check. I can't read your mind, seeing as I don't know you, but I can surmise from the missing radio and first-generation iPod Mini that you intended to steal them when you entered. Maybe you just wanted to come in to look through the stack of magazines in the back seat, and when you didn't like the articles, you decided to take the radio and iPod. Who knows? So with all these elements met, I think it's safe to assume that you, whoever you are, did in fact commit a simple burglary when you entered my car, stole my radio, and my first generation iPod mini. The punishment up to 12 years in jail, potentially at hard labor, and or $2,000 fine. So really my question to you, my dear felon, is what could possibly have compelled you to risk such a severe punishment for a radio and an iPod that collectively aren't worth more than 60 bucks at a pawn shop or on eBay. Seriously, what was the overreaching need that spurred you to take such a risk? Do you have children at home who are starving? In that case, although I wish you would just get a job, I'm not that upset with you. I can get a new radio. And theoretically, you can get new kids if the first ones die, can't you? But nobody wants that. So if my radio and iPod went towards gummy bears or DiGiorno's pizza or other food stuff for your kids, I sort of understand. But somehow, although I don't know you, I doubt it. So what else? Did you possibly steal my stuff because you need to score some drugs? Not to stereotype you, of course, but you see, normal people don't go running around committing simple burglaries, so I figure maybe the clutches of addiction were so strong that you had to break in and steal my radio and iPod. In that case, I pity you, and I hope you can get the help you need. Because all too often, people who turn to crime to pay for drug habits end up clogging up the American prison systems, hurting their families, and adding to the culture of fear and violence in urban areas. I also realize, if you were stealing to score drugs, that your life is probably really hard and that you would never have turned to drugs in the first place if, if things had gone your way. But all that being said, it kind of pisses me off to know that while I'm driving around listening to silence and smelling the swampy smell of rain that came in through the broken window of my car while I was out of town, that you're running around in a blissful state of meth-induced psychosis. And truthfully, while I know the monetary value of the items you took is not very much, kind of liked my radio and iPod. It made me smile when during my commute a really good song would come on. And to think that the ten years of pleasure the radio has given me and the five years of pleasure the iPod has given me are all gone for, what, five scores of street drugs? Sorry, I don't know what cracker meth goes for these days. Kind of pisses me off. So my dear felon, just for the record, if you stole my stuff for drugs, I am kind of pissed at you. But I understand your life probably sucks. So I feel bad for you, too. But what else could it be? Perhaps you're just some kid who was trying to show off to your friends. In that case, I am extremely angry with you. You have no excuse for your behavior. I can understand being compelled by extreme need or extreme addiction, but stealing to show off just makes you a coward and a loser. Might I suggest putting your energies into preparing for college? Statistically, you'll be less likely to need to steal car radios and iPods with the increased earning potentially you'll have with a college degree. If you go to FAFSA.gov, you can learn all about how to apply for student loans and pay them back. I'm sure that if you spent half the time studying that you do burglarizing, you'll be quite adept at the materials on college interest exams. 
may also suggest extracurricular activities. Then maybe you can meet some new friends who don't think it's funny or cool to commit felonies. That's all I got, really. I can't think of anything other than necessity, addiction, or just being a plain old dickwad that would cause someone to risk 12 years of prison or 60 bucks worth of old electronics. I don't have an awesome conclusion to this or anything. Just wanted to get it off my chest. Also, if anyone reading this has been considering or has already committed acts of burglary, maybe now that they know the high consequences, they'll think twice. That'd make the city a lot better for all of us. I mean, yeah? What do you even say to that? Just, yeah. This person pretty much said it all. New Orleans is an interesting place. That's all I can really say about it. I mean, I've been there several times, and yes, you do have to worry about randos breaking in and stealing shit, but the fact that this person decided to <laughs> lay it all out in exact detail is pretty fucking interesting. So, um, thank you, random Craigslist poster. I hope you get your radio and your iPod back. If not, I hope you get a better radio and a better iPod, because, I mean... The radio's pretty old, and the iPod's probably not that great anymore, but, you know, you can do great. You can do good stuff. Either way, that's it for this video, so thank you all for watching. I know this is kind of a short one, but I'm just reading weird stuff off Craigslist right now. Uh, if you did enjoy this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I have a Ko-Fi and a merch store. You can check those out. I'd appreciate it. Every Saturday, there's some live streams. Every weekend, actually, so there's a bunch of stuff going on there. And, uh... I have my own Discord server, and if you'd like to send in your own weird stories, r slash moonhorse stories, you can, uh, you can do that. I'll check it out, so I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.